Hello my crafty friends, welcome back uh, to my channel or welcome if it's your first time. Um, so today is going to be the first in um, a multi-part series. I'm not sure how many videos I'm going to do on it but um, I think there'll be at least two, probably three. Um, so I uh, recently asked on um, one of my recent videos and also on Instagram um, if people would like to know um, more about how to get on design teams and uh, what it's like to be on a design team um, in terms of card making and paper craft and um, lots of people said yeah that would be really really helpful um, so I did some looking around on, on YouTube I did some research and I found um, some videos that were well I found one one that was like nine months old um, by Lindsay the frugal crafter um, so obviously a very successful uh, well-known um, crafter and artist um, so she was sharing her experiences um, and then I found some others that were from several years ago so I realized that actually there's not much out there so I thought I would and definitely not um, really anything from any um, smaller um, channels or content creators with uh, smaller uh, subscriber counts, followers, um, you know, more newer to the um, card making and paper craft uh, arena. Um, so um, I would sort of position myself as a semi professional crafter. So um, I you know, I have my own YouTube channel, I have won a competition and been published in um, Simply Cards and Papercraft uh, magazine with a full page article. Uh, I'm on a number of design teams um, and, you know, the first two design teams I applied for, I um, got offered places on them. Um, so that's the sort of level that I'm at and the people that I was seeing that had made the videos were at a, a much higher level than me and had uh, donkey's years more experience than me. So I guess this video is more for uh, people who probably have like less than like five years experience, um, like seriously crafting, like, you know, and seriously putting yourself out there and, and who are sort of thinking about getting on design teams and wondering how, how do I even start? Where do I even look? Um, etc. <clears throat> so, um, I want to talk about my experiences um, and I want to be very honest and authentic. If you're a re regular to my channel, you will know that that's very important to me, um, is honesty and authenticity. Um, so I'll be talking about that. Uh, I'm also a very respectful person, so I won't be bashing or naming and shaming or anything like that, any companies. I don't think that's right to do. I don't think that's a professional way to conduct yourself. Um, I have had amazing, amazing experiences and I've also had some really quite um, not so great experiences um, and I want to share all of it so that you get a, like a, a well-rounded um, view of of, of my experiences but this is just my experiences it might I'm not saying that this is what it's like for everybody um, I found um, actually the Hedgehog Hollow um, they did a two-part series which was really good um, how to the first part was like how to approach getting on design teams and the second was uh, because they're a business and actually take on design teams it was like what do um, we look for as a design team um, when we do a DT call and um, so like that I would recommend you to watch uh, those two videos. Um, Lindsay, Lindsay the Frugal Crafter, her video is very good. Uh, Marta of Maremi Small Arts, hers is very good. Justine Hovey did one like five years ago. Um, so they're all the ones that I've watched um, and that's pretty much all I could find. Um, so I started um, really 
amping up my my game so to speak um at the beginning of 2021 so on the 1st of january i set up my youtube channel uh with the help of my husband who is uh, also um artistic but more in the sort of graphic sort of design area so he uh, if you you noticed all my branding my little avatar with me with the paintbrush with the scissors sorry not the paintbrush um and stuff like that and my consistent branding that's that's down to my husband and I'm very grateful for that because obviously I didn't have to pay for that and uh, I don't know how to do that myself um <clears throat> but I had never edited a video before, um, you know, starting my YouTube channel. I just launched myself straight into it and I did a hell of a lot of research on um, YouTube looking at how to um, build a channel, how to be successful on YouTube and, and things like that, as well as watching and continually learning new crafting techniques and pushing myself and things like that. And then, um, you know, um, as crafters, most of us can probably relate. Um, we can spend quite a bit of money on, uh, on craft supplies and, you know, for me, having long-term health conditions, it's therapy. Um, crafting, making cards, it's therapy. Um, I was posting two to three videos, YouTube videos a week, and I was creating more cards on top of that, um, drowning in cards. Um, but that it's my passion um, and it brings me joy and it helps me manage my, uh, my long-term health condition and my pain and stuff like that. Um, so I thought, well, I love my YouTube channel. I love the fact that I'm able to connect with like-minded people, other people who love to craft, people from all over the world, um, you know, people who also find crafting is really therapeutic for them, mentally, emotionally, helps them deal with their physical or mental health issues uh, or difficult life circumstances. So I love the community feel and aspect of that. So that's one of the things I love about being a content creator is is sharing and um, building community. Um, and so I thought, do you know what? I would love to be on some design teams because, you know, I, I'm going to be being sent free product. So that's going to stop me spending a bit of money. And B, I love making things. Um, and also I like the idea of being um, sort of challenged to create because one of the things, well, okay. Some companies uh, will give you an allowance. So they might say give you $20 or 20 pounds or something like that and you get to choose from their latest release and um, so you're, you're buying with the money that they've gifted you, um, so to speak. Um, and then if you want any more, you buy it yourself. Um, other companies will send you specific products to work with. Um, other companies will send you the entire new release and you just have to um, produce uh, videos only using a couple of those um, items so it really really varies um, as does the discount so some companies will give you like 10 or 15 percent off as a design team member um, others it's 30 50 um, so there's real real variety of I've, I've found um, and yeah just differences Businesses are different, different, you know, they're different sizes, you know, what's what one um, company considers generous, another company will have a different idea, another company will have a bigger budget. Um, so, you know, these are some things to start considering. Um, are you in a position to be spending money out of pocket um, to buy extra products? to be on a design team or uh, are you not um are you are you willing to take on the challenge of working with products that you wouldn't necessarily 
purchase yourself so you might like the brand but there's always going to be products that we would go oh i must have that for me if it's got a sloth on it or a no i really want it so it's things like that to think about um to bear in mind but i it's one of the aspects that i love is being given products and being like okay so this is what i need to create um deadlines as well it's very deadline driven so if you're a, naturally a very organized person like i am um you'll find it really easy if you're a sort of last minute kind of person um then you may struggle or you may have to uh take a very structured approach um, you know, you often have to, I, I like to work a month in advance where possible. So, and partly that's because I like to be organized and partly that's because of my health. So if I have a couple of bad days, a bit of a flare up and I, I can't craft or I don't feel like crafting, um, or some life thing comes up, then I know that I've, I've already fulfilled my commitments. So I don't feel any sense of pressure. If you, you need to figure out what capacity you've got. If you spend hours and hours every week crafting, then you're probably gonna have plenty of time to be on a design team or multiple design teams. Um, another thing to say is that some design teams um, don't want you to be on any other design teams. Uh, they may say this uh, due to like things like conflicts of interest you know if you're on two two very similar companies design teams they might not like that they might see it as a conflict of interest or they might not I don't know about the behind the scenes thing but um you know in one I was told by someone um that you know oh we, we didn't realize you were on any other design teams we you know lots of design teams don't um like 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 their design team members to only be on one design team um, and if we would have known that you were looking to be on any other design teams we wouldn't have offered you um a post and i thought well that's just blatantly not true because I know a lot of crafters having done a lot of networking you know and just meeting people organically um you know that um many people are on multiple design teams or are on a couple of design teams and then regularly do guest work um or you know partnership work with other companies um so you know like there's yeah there's a lot okay let me tell you some more some more positives so you get free stuff you get free products or you get you get uh, credits or you know virtual money to spend like you get to pick and choose which stamps dies paper whatever you want from the store out of that allowance um some companies will ship it to you for free other companies um you have to pay for shipping um if you're international again can you afford the shipping um I'm on, a, I'm on a limited income. Uh, I only work part-time because of my health conditions, so that's a factor for me. But yeah, so looking at pros, free stuff, um, you, which you would be making stuff anyway, but you're um, making stuff for a company. And when that company promotes, you know, and shares your work and other people see it and are inspired by it and like it, it just makes my heart sing i just you know it's it's wonderful and it's a real confidence boost for you as well um if you're looking to grow your profile if you're looking to you know become you know more well known in the craft industry being on design teams is going to do that for you is that something that you want do you want to raise your profile do you want to 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 you know move more in the direction of some of your favorite youtubers content creators um artists is is that what you want um you know because it's it's a great opportunity it's wonderful i absolutely love it um i am currently on four design teams um and i manage that perfectly well um i've got the time and the energy to do that um Again, um, companies vary in what they'll want you to do. Um, if you have a YouTube channel, um, 
if you have a blog, um, if you have neither, um, if you just have social media like Instagram or Facebook, um, it, it will vary. So some companies will say, you know, we um, are looking for um, people to do tutorials. So it can either be a tutorial on a blog, so written step-by-step -step content of how to create something with photos, or if you have a YouTube channel to create a video um, doing the same thing, but obviously, you know, how to get on a design team. So part of it, it's about looking, I sort of would advise to view it as looking for a job. So, um, you know, you find places where jobs are advertised. So um, there's, a, there's a really good Facebook group. I think it's called um, Design Team Calls Here um, or something like that. If you, if you type in a design team, calls into Facebook you'll find it um, and lots of um, craft companies post in there regularly so there's like several posts a week um, I found several um, companies that way um, you can do the cold calling approach uh, I've had uh, lim limited potentially one one um, good outcome from that which I'm being a bit cagey about because um, it's it's new uh, and I don't know how it's going to turn out uh, but I've also had other people just not get back to me um, I've applied for things where I haven't realized that it's not open um, outside of the states and they've got back to me and said your work is beautiful uh, unfortunately at the moment due to COVID and shipping fees and Brexit and whatnot you know it's just too expensive we can only take on um, you know crafters from the states but um, you know we'd like you to keep your information on file and that's happened on numerous occasions to me actually often they will say that as well like if um, if you've missed the boat like just about missed the boat and um, they'll say oh you know we'd, we'd like to keep your information on file and get in touch if, if something comes up later on in the year which you might be able to help us out with and um, which is wonderful again you've made that connection with the company then and um, so it's really good to network um, they will often say, um, there might be like a Google form to fill in or they might say, send us um, a short crafty bio, you know, like send us links to where you post your work, tell us why you want to work for our company, um, you know, and it's about thinking about why do you want to be in partnership with that company why do you want to work with their products is it just because you want to be on a design team or is it because you actually really like that company you like that company's ethos you like you buy from them regularly anyway um and so it would be an absolute bonus to get their stuff for free uh, because you love it um you know or is it just because you want to to be on a design team just for the status? There's nothing wrong with that. It's just, um, you know, it's things to consider because there's a lot of stuff out there. So it's the same kind of thing. It's like when you're thinking about a job, you don't just apply for any job going. If you don't want to work nights, don't apply for a job that is advertised as working nights. I don't like really working with digital stamps. I've done it a few times. Um, I don't really like it. I, I like you. I find it limiting because um, I like to do things like heat embossing and, and stuff. And, and you can't do that if you're just printing off um, an image. And also, I don't have that's like software on my computer where I can uh, resize images and you know stuff like that. I get my husband to do it for me, and we've just got a basic home printer. And it would be expensive to keep buying. Um, coloured inks to print off uh, digital papers um, and I'm not in the position or, or willing to do that um, but if you love working with digital stamps and are more than happy you know um, you know to, to, to do that then excellent there's lots of opportunities for digital creators um, and obviously then you don't have the um, the worry about like if you're not in the same country because it's just it can be emails or dropbox or uh whatever um so that's another thing to be aware of um and 
I have met so many lovely people um again just the same way as I have through um through Instagram through uh YouTube through Craft World um I owe a lot to Craft World actually I feel um I joined Craft World if you're not aware of them um they're a crafting um community that you can join online they're run by uh, they're one of the they come under the practical publishing company umbrella um the same as like craft stash does and, and like many of the leading craft magazines in the uk um so i joined there and ma made lots of friends and um you know just building connections with people it's it's wonderful if and if you like to do that um again being on design teams it's like oh okay i know that person from there or you know like it's it's really nice and i say that as someone who would class themselves as an introvert uh how can an introvert have a youtube channel you may ask um well you know being an introvert like i still i like people i like um spending time with people i like talking to people i love sharing um and discussing things that I'm passionate about. Uh, I can do that for hours until the cows come home. Um, so, you know, um, and doing it all online is is perfect for me because I struggle to, to get out. Um, so, yeah, so that's a lot of the, the, the pros, I would say. Um, I guess, um, in summary, building connections with people, raising your profile if that's what you want um, getting free stuff um, and discounts to the store um, and just getting to work with some amazing people and and it, it's amazing like it really really is um, so there are so many so so many pros um to being on design teams and um i think i've covered like some ideas of how to get on them um and some of the positives and um oh yeah so just a bit more about how to get on them so as i look follow them on social media follow the brands that you like on social media um tag them in your makes if you're using their products tag them in your makes if you're sharing them on your social media tag them if you keep on doing that you na you, you, your name your face is going to keep popping up so they're going to get to recognize you so if you then apply for them for their design team call they'll already sort of know who you are from watching videos like um that i've previously from people that i've previously mentioned um you know it's also that some design teams uh, don't necessarily do design team calls they um they hand pick people so if you're constantly using and tagging a brand's products and they notice that and they like that um then they might invite you to be on their design team or if you reach out to them maybe that might lead to something um and just approach it approach the application as a job interview you need to sell yourself they'll often say um you know choose um three for example of your favorite uh, recent makes uh, and attach them to the email application and that can be really difficult you know because you you know if you're in like me you're interested in you love stamping you love heat embossing you love ink blending you love um the 3d uh, paper crafts you love making boxes you love making memory albums it's like oh what am I going to do but just think about it okay is this what does this company do do they primarily sell whimsical um cute stamps share that share with them some of your favorite and best examples of um projects that you've made using that kind of thing if you're using their products more the better not necessarily um but you know if, if they're a newer company or if you just haven't got any of their stamps um so yeah just sort of try and think about it from their perspective what are they looking for what's their in ethos like are they saying that they want um friendly communicative people you know um who are team players make sure you get that across in your in your email if you can um you know if you're they'll want 
probably know about your other commitments and that's probably to know um to f for, for them to figure out has this person got enough time to take on another design team um are they working with any brands that we wouldn't are in competition with maybe i think i think it was um uh alex on the hedgehog hollow that, that said that i think don't quote me on that but i think that's where i heard that it was on one of the videos that i watched um you know so just yeah just take it seriously but also yeah and don't apply for like millions of things try just apply for like one or two you know if you think you've got capacity to do two and there's two design team calls at the same time apply for them both but only if you can fulfill the commitments don't apply for five because then if you get offered five and you haven't got the capacity and you can only do two then you're gonna have to let three down and then you know that kind of puts you in a bit of bad stead I mean I wouldn't like that if I was a company manager you know I've, I've gone through hundreds of applications and offered someone a place and they've turned it down because they just applied for everything you know so you just want to take it seriously um yeah so I'm looking at the timer on my phone and this video is knocking on on a bit now uh, I haven't really talked about negative experiences so in my next video I am going to talk about some of my negative experiences and uh, things to be aware of so if you would like to see that then um, make sure you subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell and then you'll get a not notified as soon as I release that video. If you've enjoyed this video and found it helpful um, and it, it's, gi it's given you some value, please use your thumb and hit the like button. I often forget to do that. I'll watch videos or I'll watch numerous videos from a content creator and realize that I haven't liked any of the, their videos but it, as a small creator it helps YouTube to know that people like my videos if they like my videos so if you do uh, that'd be awesome um please leave me any comments questions queries anything like that in the comment section below uh, and i will get back to you um so yeah um I've, I've really enjoyed this i've done it quite on the fly to be honest i haven't made notes and stuff um i've come up here to finish off a craft project but decided that i wanted to do this video and i've been planning on doing it soon so um i hope it hasn't been too garbled i hope it's been uh useful but if there's anything that wasn't clear or that you want more information on um not about negatives because i'll cover that in the future but just um yeah just let me know because I love to interact with you in, in the comment section, as you know. So um, I'll see you and speak to you soon with some more crafty goodness. Bye for now.